Alright, welcome back to Metroid Zero Mission! In the last episode, we got a whole bunch of shit, and I'm gonna go ahead and save the game, yes. Even though I really could have just run down there and run back, but, uh, I kinda wanna try and keep the continuity flow as, as, as good as possible. Plus, another reason for going in here. Missiles! There are missiles everywhere. Now, the route I take... No matter what route you take, you will have to do some backtracking if you want to get 100%, and this is one of the areas you will need to come back to. Hey, let's do this. Uh, mainly because one of the missiles in this area is under a bunch of acid, and as we've already established, we cannot move very fast in acid. So we will need a, a future suit. There we go, thank you. Uh, and boom. And here we go. Okay, that's always awesome. <laughs> Fuck you, rippers. 100 missiles, holy shit. I think the total number of missiles you can get throughout the game is like 250. So I'm not about, I'm almost, I'm getting close to being, to having half of the missile, half the maximum missile capacity. I swear I can speak, end game, at the same time. I swear. <laughs> oh, lordy. Ah, some days. Really? You can't, you can't wall jump off of that, really? Oh, there we go. Yeah, some days I can get to that and and just grab that right off the bat. But days like today, not really. Ah. Whee! And another energy tank. Now I'm starting to stock up on HP. <laughs> Always save. Always be saving, ABS. Always be saving. Oh yeah. That needs to be on a button. If that isn't on a button, that needs to be on a button. ABS. Always be saving. Always be saving some game, some princess, some dude, and here we go. Holy shit! Holy shit worm. And just pop a bunch of missiles into its eyeballs. And more missiles. Hi! Oh, look at this. This is cute. This is cute! It's impotent rage! Look at his impotent rage! Oh, isn't that adorable? Uh oh. One more missile killed him. There we are. Ah. And in this little area, more missiles! Ha! <laughs> I messed that little guy up. that we can now take this goodbye and get the hell out of here uh, looks like I will need that Whee! actually I don't need that as much as I need it as I thought because I do have high jump boots but it is a little quicker which is fine you know we, that's what we're kind of going for is, is a little bit of quickness uh, brothers will die too, and your sisters, and your cousins, and your nephew's former roommate. I don't know. Uh, don't need to go in there yet. I think this is where I need to go next. Yes. Oh, before I do. Just mark that off for me there. We go in here for... Ah! Hi! Okay. Whee! Another missile tank. 
Uh, there's nothing more you can get over here. It's kind of just meandering paths and shit. Ways you can get lost if you don't know where you're going. Which, hey, you know, it's not a big deal. Uh, yeah, well, ex explore exploration is a good thing. It's how you learn. Um, I don't need to do the exploring. <laughs> Simply because, well, I've been through this game like 10 million times by this point. It's just a matter of planning my route, doing it right, and not getting my ass kicked. Yeah, we'll see those guys again. Like right there! There's one! I wonder what the hell it's called. Huh. Oh well, we'll see them again. Uh, never underestimate the power of a good missile. That's my that that that's my 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 uh, lesson for the day. Do not underestimate the power of a good missile. Nothing in here. The controller work for me. I believe it's this one. Yes. But say I know it's one of these side paths that has uh, some missiles. There we are. And of course, I'm going to try and take out Rippers at the same time. Let's see. Yes! That's two! Okay. Uh, I'm not going to be able to take them all out, unfortunately. Damn. That's okay. I don't need to worry about that. Get over here. Yay! I took out like two Rippers out of however many there were. <laughs> uh, that's a good thing about video games. Sometimes you can like... You don't even have to have, like, a set goal in a video game. You know, I mean, besides the ones that's obviously programmed in, like, like Super Mario Brothers, you have the princess or whatever. But you make up your own goals as you go along. It's pretty cool. Uh, like, okay, how many rippers can I, can I destroy there? And how fast can I go through this or whatever? I mean, obviously some video games have ended up going and programming all of that in. Of course, this one's not compatible. It's the space jump! Spoiler alert! Yeah, spoiling a ten-year-old game. Holy shit, this is this game is ten years old as of this recording, by the way. I am old. You know, somebody thought I was like 20. I'm like, <laughs> I remember where I was when I was 20. It was not doing this. No, when I was 20, the AVGN hadn't even done, hadn't even uh, made his first video. That's you know, it wouldn't have been for like... Holy shit. That reminds me, the AVGN has, has actually been a character for 10 years. AVGN is a 10-year-old character at this point. Because James did his first uh, couple of AVGN videos in 2004. And then two years later, everybody's like, well, you know, they like him, so let's do a couple more. And then a couple more. And then a couple more. And now suddenly he's making a movie. <laughs> oh, okay. You. Hi. You are in my face. Wakey, wakey. Hello. He's a screamer. Easy. Too easy. Of course, if you're doing a 15% run, he's considerably harder. And I have done 15% runs. I might do another run with a 15% goal at some point. But uh, that is not this series. <laughs> and I'm just, I just imagine somebody in the comments being like, Oh, if you think Rid if you think Grade is Screamer, you should listen to Ridley. Oh, yeah. Speed Booster! I love how they do the speed booster in this game, too, because all you do is run. That's all you do. You just sit there and you run. Whee! And... Yes! Now there's a couple of things I need to do in here, plus something I kind of want to show off. <laughs> Oh, ah, shit. Uh, I should have done the thing, but that's okay. 
Those things fall and they lose their googly eyes. Now, the room above, which you'll see me kind of speed through in just a few moments, if you fall down into the, lo into the acid there, you will end up back in that room. There we go. Now watch this. Boom! Bye-bye. That's always so fun. Ah! Look at all of them. Boom! They just kind of want to gang up on you and, and just kind of gangbang you there. Huh. That is not how I want to be gangbanged, thank you very much. This room... It does have... something cool. That is not it. No, although I can't have it over there. Okay. No, don't miss your jump. There we go. Yeah, you kind of need to have that. <laughs> Otherwise, you're not going to get the energy tank there like that. What? And of course, there will be a couple of areas in Ridley's area where it's going to be a little bit, um, yeah. is coming. <laughs> yeah, if you see them break in certain ways, the cutscenes will change in order a little bit. Hmm. But I think, you know, of course, if you go the normal way, you get to see all of them, naturally. Um, yeah, I don't need you right now, I don't think. Yeah. Uh, oh, so here we go. Shortcut. That I can now take now that I have the bombs. <laughs> and the shortcut works best only one way, normally. You can also go the other way. As you noted on the block there, you can speed boost through it. But wait. Uh, no, not that way. Alright, open the door. Let him in. Someone's knocking at the door. Somebody's ringing a bell. Okay, now we run back. And boom! That is actually much easier than how I used to do it. <laughs> oh god, that is so much of an easier way. I'm glad... I, I, I've watched other people run this game, and one of them did that. What I used to do... I used to try to go back over here and do it from here, which it's doable, I've done it, but it is so much more difficult because then you have to worry about whether or not you knocked out both of the rippers or whether or not you accidentally jump into one and lose your charge. It, it's so much more of a pain in the ass. So that way is a little simpler, and it's, and it's great. And I got my super missiles early. <laughs> so now... We get to tackle Norfair, and if it's anything like my last video, uh, depending on time constraints, I may stop it before I get to Ridley, because there's there's quite a bit left. Uh, I'll go through as quickly as I can, though. Oh, that is the name of the game, after all. Remember your ABS, always be saving. Uh, a lot of games nowadays, you know, I, I would say that I would say 99.9% .9 of games, if they have some kind of feature that allows you to return to it later, it's a save feature. Uh, you know, which, you know, it, it's it's nice. Because I grew up with password systems. You know, just like the AVGN did, just like a lot of the, these, you know, a lot of us retro gamers did. And look at me calling myself a retro gamer. <laughs> but, uh, but no. We grew up with a lot of it, with a lot of the password systems, and oh my god, a lot of the complaints about the passwords, like, like, uh, like the AVGN, 
you know, when he complains about password systems, you know, having like the L and the I look sim too similar, it, it's it, that's a very reminiscent and legitimate. You know, I mean, it's it's definitely not played for laughs. Well, okay, the reactions are, but 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 the frustration. I remember that frustration. I lived that frustration. Oh. And this is just fun. The speed boost! So this is the normal way you get down there. You just do this. Now, first, you want to clear the room. As much as you can. Hi! Ow! You son of a bitch, come here! Shit. Okay. I normally can do this. I think I threw myself off by saving my charge a little too early, and here we go. Do it right. Can't quite get the missile in this room yet. In fact, I'll go ahead and go get it. That way, it'll be out of the way. There we go. Now I don't have to worry about that for later. Ah! <laughs> I outran a fireball! I am awesome. Super missiles. I don't think there's anything down there. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. But now I have enough dashing space. Whee! This is always fun. This is one of the things I like about Norfair. You do have areas where you basically have to be able to have enough area to dash. Now, you know, areas of Norfair were built for the speed booster. They just were, and, and it's great. I like the speed booster. By the way, screw attack, I'm gonna get in early. Normally you don't get the screw attack till you after you beat Ridley. Not in this run. I'm gonna be getting it early, because fuck not being able to just tear through people and monsters. Uh, too bad you can't get the power bombs early. <laughs> that, would, that would probably break the game, though. Uh. Mm. And when I say get them early, I mean, like, legitimately early. Like, you know, like, get them with, like, proper sequence breaking without having to use codes or anything. Oh dear. Ah! You're in my way. Get out of my way. Whee! Now you can go up around the underpath to. Oh hey, you! Boom! A couple of super missiles for you. Remember our slogan ABS! Always be saving! That's right, kids. Oh dear. So, screw attack. It's up there. How do we get there? Well, we bomb up here. Yeah, oh, fuck it, just... They're missile blocks. Damn it, bomb jumping physics ruining my demonstration. Ripper 2s. Ah. <sighs> Screw attack! An attack so nice, they named a site after it. <laughs> Whee! Ah, oh, dear. Oh. You are a ball of invincible. Mostly invincible while you're in the air. All of mostly invincible. I think some things can hurt you. I, I think... Um, I want to say some of the final bosses stuff can hurt you. Now, normally, you can't get this right away, but I can. <laughs> Thanks to sequence breaking. Thanks to the handy dandy sequence breaking of events. Come on. You go up there, you go there. Okay. Ah! Son of a. 
I blame the controller for that one. Because that's pretty squarely pressing down. There we go! Uh, for a moment there I thought, oh shit, you're gonna dash in the wrong direction. No, thankfully. This is why I like the speed booster. That whole area there, if I had to go through it normally, oh my god, I would hate it. But, this is probably one of the trickier things to... This, this is one of the trickier items to get in the game. At least when you have the screw attack. <laughs> There we go. Now then. Go ahead and open that. Timing. Shit. Well, looks like I'm gonna have to wait again. Come on. Give me another one. Thank you. Yeah, you see why I need to worry about the screw attack here. There we go. That's better. Alright, come on. Damn it! Oh, you, you little bitch. You little bit. You little female dog. Ah, son of a... You know what, that's close enough. Let's get out of here. You can also dash back all the way over here from there, but meh. Yeah, I probably lost a couple of... I uh, probably lost a minute or two there. But that's okay. I can make a f a make up for it in other ways. Keep in mind, I have six super missiles at this point. Whee! You see, look at all of that. Would you want to go through all of that? Hell no! Hell no, I don't want to go through all of that. Okay, so, looks like I'll have to go down a little bit before I can actually access what I want to access down there. I know there's an area... I don't think that's... Ah! Another good thing about Super Met... Uh, not Super Metroid, but uh, Zero Mission Controls. You can start somersaulting while you're in midair. Which is very handy after you get the screw attack. Very, very handy. Okay, ah, it's down this one, that's right. Whee! Another superheated room, full of these guys, and a couple of missiles. Gee, you'd think the game would want you to have all of the missiles, yeah! Now, will it mess up this guy? Yeah, a little bit. There you go. Side effects include humiliation, fireballs, and death. And you can screw attack through most of those plants, but not those. Which I find weird. Oh well, I guess you have to have some barriers. Down here, it's not, well, it's one of the best weapons, but it's, but it's still pretty awesome. We're gonna get the wave beam! Wavy, wavy! Yee! And it can pass through solid objects. <laughs> you know, I wonder how that would work in, like, a real-world scenario. Like, like... You know, like, Samus is at home, just, just chilling. She sees an intruder, like, through a window or something. They don't, like, like a two-way glass window or something. I know, I could have just taken anything out with two super missiles again, but oh well. You gotta show off sometime. At any rate, uh, you know, she sees intruder through like two-way glass or something. She just picks up her wave beam, blasts him, and then he's like, I ain't doing that no more. Uh, if he survives, that is. I do like how when people are, are portraying Samus on like these... Uh, Twitter accounts, these parody accounts or whatever, they make her so badass and, and like, like, ready to kill at the drop of a hat. 
Oh, these guys. Tick, 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 tickle. No! <laughs> oh, tickle did it. No, I tickled him to death. Oh, no. There you go. Bye bye. Yay! One more energy tank for the road. <laughs> dash and I think that clears me out of pretty much almost everything in Norfair that I can get at this point I'll, obviously this is going to be one of the places I will have to backtrack for too at a later date um, so what we'll do we'll take on this this boss and then once we get down to Ridley's area we will uh, we'll call it a day how about that so whoa hi there we go. You know, for a fire area, this is not so fiery. And there's water. How do you do that? Now, there are two ways you could do this. You could use the ripper here. If you want, which might be the safer way for the most part. Yeah. And I'll show off both ways. Because the other way is Wall Jump! Mr. Wall Jump. <laughs> Hear that music? It's so creepy. Okay, I want to destroy that thing this time, because if, it, if it's in the right spot, it will get destroyed. There you go! I don't do that very often. <laughs> oh, So, alright, this is where we're going to end it. Um, when we come back, we'll take on Ridley and maybe Torian, too. So until then, this is Gomer, the Ranting Thespian, signing off. And welcome back! We are in Ridley now. That was a very ominous cutscene, too. He's coming for us. Now, there are two ways to go about it. You can do it with or without taking on that bug that kind of just burrowed its way into the thing there. Uh, but I'm going to take on that bug. Because I want more super missiles, damn it. <laughs> See? He's just burrowed his way through. There's a tube in the background. And in normal gameplay, you have to do this first. Oh, eggs. Demon eggs! Oh, wow. Six super missiles were not enough. There we go. He's gonna be done for. That was quick. Wah! I don't think he damages you. <laughs> But that's okay. Uh. Oh, lordy. Whee! So yeah, without sequence breaking, you do need to take on that bug. Because otherwise you will never get through this door. You'll also never get through it if you don't hold the R button. So here we are, Ridley. You know, I, I kind of like how these these uh, uh, videos have been turning out. It's like you explore like one, maybe two areas, and, and there you go. You know, I, I kind of like how that's been turning out. Hi. Ah, recreated from the very first game, but also but also armed with a power grip, so I don't have to go down there. <laughs> Now, just wave beam it. 
all of the power-ups. There we are. <sighs> and, whoa, oh look, more missiles for me? Yays! Alright. This... These next couple of items I can get are gonna be fun. Unfortunately, I will have to do the map. Uh, that does take away from some time, unfortunately. That's okay. Now, you see, you saw, you saw the two rooms go, you saw, see it here now. How the hell am I supposed to get up enough speed? Because the point is, that little bit of floor right before I go th went through that door to the map room, that's where I need to speed boost over. You just do this. Like that. There you go. God damn it! God damn it! And I need it, need it, need it, need to, to, to do that again. Yeah. Uh, let's try this again. Okay, let's actually hold a charge this time and not be distracted by my girlfriend talking to me on Facebook. <laughs> it's not up on the computer, it's actually up on my iPad next to me. Uh, or, I say it is, but it's not really... It, it, I was distracted! That's, that's all you need to know. <laughs> ah, fuck. That was not distraction, though. That was just pure fail. Okay. Woo! Ah, shit, shit, shit! Damn it. That was a bad move on my part. Ah, is this going to be one of the points where I, I, I start deteriorating now? <laughs> okay. Missile block. So you have two things to get in here. Okay. Okay. I get close. Uh, ah! Whew, close. That was close. I was also close. Oh, damn. There's so many close calls in here. There we go. Oi. Whoop. And we get both missiles. And we have to speed dash out of here. This is for advanced players, obviously. So much fun. Now I believe you can, might be able to do it this way too. It, it, it's a little bit harder to get the timing down. Yeah. Okay, maybe not. But do this. Turn into a ball. Go this way. Now there is an area on this end that you have to speed boost up there for. That you, that you need to get, but I'm going to have to backtrack here anyway for it, so I'm going to wait. Oh dear. Save complete. AVS, always be saving. Uh, what other things could ABS be used for? I mean, I mean you got the normal, like, the anti-lock brake system. You know, that that's, that, you know, for all you gearheads out there. Um, ABS, always be stoned? That would be that would be kind of fun. I've never been stoned actually. I wouldn't mind trying it. Ah, here we go. Over here. There we go. And because I want to go out this way and not the other way. Hi! I could pop up through those things too. Whee! 
Oh, oh snap. There we go. More missiles. More super missiles, even. <laughs> uh, I believe these were supposed to... I think these guys are multi-violas. There are violas and there's multi-violas. Multi-violas are the ones I just tore up with a goddamn screw attack. Now here's something you don't see too often in this game. A super missile block. And what do I get as a reward? More super missiles. <laughs> they have a way of locking you out of most other super missiles until you until you either do the sequence break that I did earlier. By the way, that's a viola. Or beat the bug like I did a little bit later. There we go. And the original that was a pain. And we have a few more missiles to get. Oh hey look, just sitting right there, super missiles. I suppose well, if you do the sequence break, I guess that one could be another one you could grab before the before the damn um uh whatchamacallit, bug. Ah, fuck you. Let's try that again. Alright. Eh. Eh. I'm better at that. Oh dear. <laughs> I am just all over the place today. Obviously. Oh, you motherfucker! Really? There we are. Now to just go grab the other one. Ah, oh, dear. Okay, there we go. Samus go down the hole. Remember our rule, ABS, always be saving. Oh dear. And you. Yeah, now you fire at me. Revenge? You will not have your revenge on me today. I shall have my revenge on you. There's supposed to be a boss here. There's no boss. I don't know what accent I'm going for with that. But we get our final mystery item. It's the gravity suit. Uh, but yes, we have... All of these energy tanks, 210 missiles, 12 super missiles, and we're about to take on this guy. Oh shit. Okay, you thought Kraid was a screamer. Jeebus. Now this one I'm doing is what you need to do if you're doing a 15% run. Stay under him, his claws won't hurt you. His tail will hurt you, the rest of his body will hurt you. And just fire up at him. No more than five missiles worth of damage in a quick succession. You do that, he'll get tail happy. And he'll start poking you with his tail. Not fun. Or you do it at the wrong goddamn time. But you know what? Fuck him anyway. Come here. Ah! Motherfucker. Rippy. 
Alrighty. And remember our rule, always be saving. Oh ho ho ho, I'm a happy saver. <laughs> oh, what, how much time do I have? Should I? You know what? I'm going to save Torian for a separate video because there are a few other things that I kind of want to see if I, see if I need to be able to, not need to be able to get, but, um, uh, see if I've missed anything. And that, that will take some time into another video. Um, I do know there are some things I'm not able to get right away. And that I'll need the space jump for and, and, and all of that good stuff. So, so I'll, I will be backtracking. Uh, I just want to minimize the backtracking as much as I possibly can. Hmm. Oh! Oh, look! I remember doing something like this in Norfair! And you can't space jump up there. And I... R well, space jump. You mean wall jump. I mean wall jump, damn it! Uh, but you can do this. Because I think that's the way you're meant to do it in Norfair. But you can do it here. Or I could have gotten it when I came back and backtracked. I could have done it then as well. But, again, minimize it as much as I can. 12 super missiles. Looks like maximum of 215 missiles. I think I'm okay. <laughs> I, I, I think I'm more than ready for uh, uh, Taurian. So, yeah. I am... Let's get out of here this way. And normally what you would do is, uh, in, in fact, I'll even go back this, I'll even go back this particular way. Because right now, you could go back and get out of here quickly by going that way. But normally you go down a little bit further, speed boost, and then get to one of these, which will send you up to where the screw attack is. That's the normal order of events. Oh, this is kind of cool. Okay. So you do get a little bit enough of a speed boost here. If you do it right. Which I clearly did not. But that's okay. But if you do it right, you could do a speed boost from there all the way back up. But, as you can see, I clearly fail. So I have to use this. Boom. But I think I do have everything that I need. And now to just kind of dash through here... Dashing through the way, on the way to beat Mother Brain. Oh, there is one item that I can go ahead and go grab in this video, and then we'll hit Torian. Yay, death to the Rippers! <laughs> so yes, I still need to go grab that long beam. So I'll go grab it real quick, and then once that's grabbed, that should be everything. I believe. At least everything that I can get right now. Again, I'll have to backtrack later anyway. So, the more I get now, the less I have to get later. So. Eh. Oh, wait. Actually, uh, that's more than one. No. Damn it. Oh, well. It's worth a shot. <laughs> uh. Uh, so long beam normally you get this like very beginning and you have to fight a little uh, I, I think you have to fight a side hopper or, 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 or some kind of some of pseudo boss not even really a mini boss it's kind of a pseudo boss after you get it but now you don't have to because you've done everything else <laughs> oh so I'm lacking three energy tanks, about 40 missiles or so, and several super missiles. Whee! And up we go! Ah, we don't even need missiles for that. So here we go. This is the area that, that's been shown off earlier as I beat each boss. I love how they do this in comparison to the original game. The original game, you just shot the statues and the bridge appeared. So I'm going to end this video right here. We will go down into Torian in the next video. And until then, this is Gomer, the Ranting Thespian, signing off.